in our in our parents' um, age and in our grandparents' age, mm. they were having children by the time they were tw twenty five. You know, thirty was late. Yeah. And now women are building their careers. They're building their families. Um, you know, family in terms of with their husbands before they decide to have a family. So basically, you would say this is a very successful process in South Africa. And if you are trying to start a family, think about it. I think the issues that we need to clear our mind of as South Africans is the cultural. Um, Yes. A mindset. Yeah. Mm -hmm. A lot of South Africans are still stuck in the mind that they can't uh, uh, get right. egg donations or they can't mm -hmm. egg spend mm -hmm. donors, uh, mm -hmm. uh, uh, and that is delaying the process of of of, of building their families. Mm -hmm. We we need to start supporting um, uh, initiatives like dance initiatives where we create extensive awareness to uh, remove that stigma of cultural to say that we can't. Technology mm -hmm. now it's so advanced that every woman or every couple that would like to have a family can be mm -hmm. able to be assisted. Obviously, yeah. in life, there aren't any guarantees. Yeah. All that we're doing to strive to have our families, it's, it's, it's trying your level best so mm -hmm. that when your level best fails, you know that you have exhausted mm -hmm. all the expertise mm -hmm. that are there. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, John, I I in terms of... of um, just checking, you know, people go for regular medical checks. Would you advise young women to just check if they are fertile, mm -hmm. they already have a baby, even if yeah, they're not trying very, to conceive? It's a very good question. And for you, um, Rakhaji, if you had a daughter, would you discuss this? Um, maybe when they get to varsity or when they're just about mm -hmm. to finish mm -hmm. to say, young lady, these are the things you need to look at? I tend to feel that as South Africans, we are reactive yes. mm -hmm. as opposed to being proactive. Mm -hmm. And perhaps a lack of knowledge um, is, is partly to blame for that in the field of infertility. But I certainly recommend to my friends, and I would recommend to women out there, if you're 30 um, or older and you're planning on still having children, rather be proactive. Go and see a fertility specialist, mm -hmm. have the blood tests and the necessary physical examinations and get a, get a yes, I'm fine, or get a, you know, your, your levels are starting to decrease in terms of fertility. Mm -hmm. You should be looking at the option of, for example, freezing your eggs. Mm -hmm. Or if you, you know, are ready, rather start a family sooner than later. Um, but we don't tend to do that. We yeah. tend to wait until there's a problem, you know, there's a problem yes. and then we are reactive about, well, now how can I fix this problem? Yeah. I think if mm. that, that's the biggest message you know, from Gift of Life, if we can mm. send out dealing with infertility mm. on a daily basis, is go and get yourself checked. Mm. Well, we hope that our viewers will be learning and uh, picking yes. up uh, you know, information mm. and we'll continue talking to you, especially on this particular issue mm. on fertility and infertility. So, Manla, if you just became a dad, yeah, and you were told no uh, paternity leave for your dude, what will you do? <laughs> no paternity leave. Oh yeah. Uh, that's not fair. Remember, I know you want three months. We get three months. Only three months. Oh, oh three it's months for me? No, it's gotta be six. Three months. days for you, and that's for the year. Only three days. Oh yeah. I could be traveling, uh, traveling from KZN to Joburg. I could finish the three days on the road. That will actually be your own problem. By bus. Okay. The government says to you, good, you've got three months. What will you do with the three months? I said, please, government, how about another three? Seriously. Oh, my God. What are you going to do with the six months now? You've oh. got six months. New baby, a home to look after, and a wife wants to relax. I've got enough time. I could get some private time with my wife as well. Well, I think these things uh, should be negotiable. Well, Manda, let's find out what the law has to say about this. Guys, tell me, if you are given three months of paternity leave, how do you feel about it? Well, it will be great, I think, uh, because it will even give you more time to help with the wife while she's still uh, uh, nurturing the baby. And, uh, yeah, help around the house. Well, I will agree with him, but it would be open to some abuse because you'll be tempted to do other things within that three months which have nothing to do with the baby. So I guess it will be up to an individual as to how they behave. Um, it is for in the sense that you're, you're, you're helping your partner um, in whatever that she has to go through. Um, particularly during the, the maternity leave, which can be given to, to a woman. It 
in terms of paternity leave, the existence of paternity leave is basically emanating from, from the Basic Conditions of Employment Act. But the law that um, I, I, I just referred to, which is the Basic Conditions, we, we normally refer to it as a BCEA. Now, that law does not refer to it as a paternity leave. It, it talks about familiar responsibility leave. Yeah, with the family responsibility leave that the law says is three days per year. Only three days. Unfortunately, that's the status with regard to, to, to the law. This specific section that deals with that is section 27 of the Basic Conditions of Employment Act. In, 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 in the event that they have to, to make use of days, of work in order to, 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 to make sure that they discharge their familiar responsibility duties. The, the, the law obviously we will revert to, 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 to that familiar responsibility leave as outlined in section 27. Now as, you, as I've just said you only have three days per year and for, 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 for others depending on what you face it may not be enough. There are many parents who have or are preparing for twins, triplets, and hopefully for more. So today we're talking to these parents and find out if it's double the trouble or triple the fun. Marion, with your boys, do you see a big difference in them at this age, in their personalities, or are they still too young for you, be able to, for you to be able to tell that? They are so different in some ways, but in other ways they are so alike. They look different, but they like the same toys and they like the same food, and they seem to have the same interests in general. Regan was definitely more sickly than Brayden was, but nothing serious luckily. Did you have anyone who was more sickly? Yeah. Look, I think, I think the issue with, with triplets is that they tend to be born premature. So we kind of have, you had this as well, Janice, they are much more at risk and so they need a lot more help and care. Um, and Katie was the, my littlest and she definitely had um, some small problems with reflux which then caused her to have ear infections and she had her tonsils out very early. She had her tonsils out at two and a half which improved her enormously once we did that. Marion, I've got something I really want to ask you. Your two elder boys you um, delivered with natural birth and then you had to have a C-section with the twins. Why, why was that? I think it comes down to the medical staff and their requirements. No problems with naturals for single babies, but as soon as they hear the word multiples, they, they want to do C-sections. I think it's safer for everyone involved, and I think they, the doctors find it's a, a much preferred option in South Africa. But how was it for you? It was tough because the natural birth you heal within a day or two and you're up and going and part of everything. Whereas the multiples, I felt I was a bit out of it for a while. Couldn't bend down and bath them. It wasn't so easy to carry two at the same time. So I, it definitely was harder than when I had the natural birth. You had a C-section also. What was it like for you? Yeah, look. Look, it wasn't a great experience for me, but it, it wasn't to do with the children or anything like that. The children needed to come by C-section, um, and I wasn't particularly well, um, but it was the best thing possible. The children get taken to the doctor immediately. It's very, very quick. The babies are in their best care possible, and they're whisked away to the ICU, and then the doctor's left to sort me out. And, you know, it's, it's fine. That's fine. Can you imagine pushing three out? <laughs> Not for me. That would never work. But what about you, Amanda? How did you do? I mean, how long did you manage to carry the girls for? I actually also, I gave birth um, by cesarean. Um, it was actually very early for me, so I didn't even, I wasn't even waiting or expecting that I would go into prem labor. Um, but my gynae had told me like three weeks earlier that, you know, chances are I will actually uh, go into prem labor. So I thought, okay, I could do 32 weeks or so, but I actually gave birth um, at 27 weeks. But after about four weeks, I actually took some time out, a couple of days, and I went to just rest. But I promise you, I slept straight for three days, didn't wake up, only woke up to eat and slept. And, and that's just how, how exhausted I was. If I don't get my sleep and if I don't rest, I need to ask for help. People need to come and 
you need, need to help. Uh, you and need you need your priority help. list. Your priority list really <laughs> starts to become very important. Yeah. A lot of little things seem to fall by the wayside. And yeah. I think it would be nice if other people would just understand that. Yeah. That our days are overwhelming. Can have ice cream? <laughs> <laughs> Hi, honey. You want ice cream? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> they wear and they wear clothes. And they live in the same houses. And they like. Um, <laughs> I know they are my and I know what twins are. Because you two live with each other. Yeah. <laughs> but if you're your mom's twins, yeah. You can tell us our twins. Chipness is chips. What do you think triplets are? Chocolate. 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 Triplets are like hamsters. That's all for today. Join us next week as we discuss nutrition as well as different bathing methods. We'll also go swimming with your baby. We then look at some prim, tiny little babies. Goodbye.